Let's check out what Alpine's got in store for us today. Did you know a single Alpine hypercar will generate over 50 gigabytes of data for the team? And this box of sensors is how they collate all of that information. The A424 has three main types of sensors on it, all with a very important job to do. There are development sensors, then there are standard performance sensors, and then there are ones like these, FIA regulatory sensors. Firstly, there are development sensors. Alpine wants to make sure that all parts are working within tolerance and temperature guidelines to make sure that they'll last a full 24 hour race. Take for example, these sensors here inside the body of the A424. They are measuring the outside tire temp whilst the car is moving. The second type of sensor is standard across all cars in the hypercar class and it allows Alpine to monitor things like fluid levels, temperatures and also individual performance of parts. Take this sensor here, it measures internal tyre temperatures and also pressures. This means that Alpine can notice any anomalies before they become an issue later on down the line and also give feedback to the driver either through the radio or through the steering wheel and he can then adapt his driving style to maximise the performance of the car. And lastly, there are regulatory sensors like this fuel flow meter, which allows the FIA to monitor the performance of every car to ensure that the teams are staying within the rules and regulations of the World Endurance Championship. This data in races leading up to the 24 hour of Le Mans will help set the performance window, which is defined by the regulator. So there you have it, three sets of sensors to ensure that the A424 can run like clockwork. Clever stuff, hey? Eh?